Here we are on Mensch Life. Thank you very much for sticking with us here on thatchannel.com. It's a new year and a new beginning. I'm introducing the Magnetic Marketing Moment, a new monthly edition to Mensch Life with Jeanette Burke, your marketing magnet. She's the founding publicist of Primetime PR and former editor of PR Talk turned marketing PR coach, consultant, trainer, speaker, columnist, TV personality, and creator of Magnetic Marketing Process. Her customized do-it-yourself, get results now, one-on-one, -on -one, and group marketing, PR, coaching, consulting, and training system. From now until December, Jeanette will tackle a variety of marketing issues and PR topics, functions, and programs key to positioning yourself as an expert in your field, building your credibility, generating qualified leads, attracting as opposed to chasing customers, increasing your business and exposure effectively, efficiently, and affordably publicizing and promoting your business. Today, she's discussing the top monstrous marketing mistakes most entrepreneurs make and what you can do to avoid making them and giving away a complimentary one hour PR and marketing coaching session worth $150 to the first lucky caller who calls in to qualify. So you can pick up your phone now and call in. The phone number here at the studio is 416-204-9723. Jeanette, welcome to the show. Thank you, David. I'm really honored to be here. I'm really looking forward to these upcoming monthly segments. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm delighted to have you here. And the topic for today is top monstrous marketing mistakes entrepreneurs make. So I want to ask you, first of all, what is the number one? The number mistake? one mistake most entrepreneurs, big or small, make is sinking a fortune into an unproven product. What does that mean? It means they haven't really checked with their target markets, their audiences, their potential clients, customers, as to whether or not mm -hmm. there truly is a need for the product or service they are about to offer. Right. And so we don't want to have people sinking a small fortune or draining their life savings or even giving up their day job mm -hmm. if they're not sure that their ideal business will work. Okay. So how do you know if your ideal business is going to work? Right. Well, and, and how do you avoid making this mistake, mm -hmm. basically? Um, that's contingent on doing your research or your cognizance or mm -hmm. your homework. Right. And by that, I mean you have to see that, in fact, there is a need for the product or service you want to um, sell right. or market or create, mm -hmm. that you don't just romanticize the right. need or right. dream about the need. Um, or think that because you want it or you have it or you have a desire for it, that means all your clients are going to mm -hmm. have that mm -hmm. desire too. Right. Um, that's a very common misconception. So don't just rely on your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Don't just rely on your mother and father or your best friend to tell you what you think you want to hear. Go right. out and and really get out there and test market your product or service make sure there really is a need for it before you you know hang up the shingle and mm -hmm. and say I'm in business now right right so you need to do your market research yes definitely do your market research and make sure that there is a need for the products that you are looking for in the services and and then go one step further and really develop a niche because right. um, another sort of big misconception mm -hmm is that um, once we create a product or service or, or a business, everyone in the world is going to need that product, business, or service. Mm -hmm. This is not true. Right. In fact, we do not sell to the world. We sell one target segment at a time. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that you know who your ideal customer is, what those characteristics are, and um, that you make sure that you sell to them mm -hmm. in a very structured or what we call bullseye versus buckshot way and, right. and remember that you're not selling the world you have to identify who are your top three or two right. target markets and stick to that right is is there a mistake people make when they think that they have to come out like the most with the most uh, innovative marketing campaign uh, ever to hit the planet i mean that they want need to be really unique is this sometimes people uh, uh, making a move in the wrong direction when, when Yes, David. In fact, that's another big mistake mm -hmm. that most entrepreneurs make. Marketing is really tried and true practices. And, the, you know, marketing has been going on since the d dawn of time. Um, the marketing strategy one should implement should not be so much about innovation or mm -hmm. creativity. I know a lot of entrepreneurs get told, oh, you know, your marketing has to be right. super creative. 
um, really what it has to be is effective or results oriented. Mm -hmm. And because as I said, marketing is a tried and true um, conglomeration of uh, strategies and campaigns and programs that have worked. Uh, rather than being innovative, mm -hmm. one should be more focusing on imitation. Right. Imitation meaning that they should copy, in effect copy, well I prefer the word duplicate, uh, proven strategies that have worked in the past. Mm -hmm. Look at them, study them, get to know them, make them your best friend, and uh, try to implement the formula that created that success. Right. So the, the strategy, the formula behind the strategy that created that success, rather than just, you know, uh, trying something out of the box. And um, if need be, you could put a new twist or spin on it, you know, because that happens all the time. Effective marketing is really a resurgence of campaigns, possibly with a new twist or spin. But look at that. Um, that form of Im in imitation and look at you know very successful people mm -hmm. and uh, see what they did to be so successful and, right. and cop right. imitate okay. duplicate that so, so you don't have to uh, you don't have to hit a home run you don't have to uh, uh, reinvent the wheel and uh, speak speaking of, of baseball analogies I mean are there people who um, uh, just uh, think that they can build like the best product and all they need to do is focus on the product and not worry like about the marketing how important is is to have a balance there well david that's it's extremely important mm -hmm. and in fact that's the third most common mistake uh most business owners make and that is that they think you know um i have a product and service i've opened up a storefront i've put up a website my customers will find me mm -hmm. trust me your customers are not going to find you right you have to find them mm -hmm. which means the moment you put on um, the moment you start a business is the moment you put on your marketing hat right. and that marketing hat never comes off in order to be profitable you must sell and in order to sell you must market so if you're not constantly scheduling uh, times if you're service related or moving product then you're not going to make it in business mm -hmm. so yes you have to be very careful and you have to continuously market yourself which means you have to know your marketing options right. and you have to take action because otherwise you leave it up to your prospects to find you and they are not going to do that mm -hmm. um, so it's very important that you do market yourself mm -hmm. and that you do it properly right and that you see what is going to work and what isn't going to work, which is only something you can test right. and then measure the results. Okay. The thing is not to be afraid to do it.